YouTuber Shane Dawson is digging into why TanaCon truly failed in a new three-part documentary style vlog. So guys, this is a wild ride and we want to hear your theories. Is Good Times a legitimate company? Do you blame Tana or the company? And are you going to be keeping up with the next video Shane makes on the subject? So Michael's talking to you? Yeah, he wants to do an interview and he said he's already working on his own awesome documentary about this whole thing. For the record, Shane, we filmed from the beginning to the end, like, every piece of footage. I'm going to put the documentary out. If nothing else, just now to help clear up everything. Uh, I'll gladly share you anything that you need for your video or whatever. I have it set at 5200 right now. I love that for us. So I feel like 5,200 is a good number. It would be really, really cool to have people like outside waiting to get in. Like people love to be oppressed outside. Yeah. They're just like, I waited in the rain. Like they love that shit. Oh, yeah. I love that shit. And then yeah. they like want to watch the posters arrive too. They're like, ah! like they're going <laughs> crazy. I'll take it. Um, I'm telling Michael that we're going to talk to him in a few minutes. Have you talked to him? No. Literally not. He got on the plane to Nashville as soon as everything was over. Um, I don't get it, no. Like, what did he say to you? So? What do I say to him? Like, there, there's so much I want to say, but I don't know what to say to him. I don't know. Well, what? What is making you emotional right now? The amount of people I let down, including you, including creators, including people who showed up, including people just who believed in me. In general, like I, I let so many people down, and I want to make it right. But I, it's crazy. This is not something I ever thought would happen, and I don't know what to do. But I have to make it right. Before we call him, um, this is hard. I just, I'm gonna be honest, because this is like the most. We were talking about this in the car on the way here. This is like the most intense, real thing I think I've ever done, <laughs> because of. Um, how much I really care for you. This is, I'm like, I, 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 know, I know, I know, I know, I know, okay? I'm so sorry, I laid you down, Shane. It's okay, I know. I I'm just so, you don't understand. Like, you are everything I've ever wanted to be. And you believe in me, even in the slightest when anything means so well to me. And to let you down and people who love us, to love me, to love you. Down is so heartbreaking, and I don't deserve you to be here right now. I don't deserve you to support me. This it's not your job, and I'm so sorry. I feel like <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like as crazy as this sounds. I told you since the beginning, from the first time I met you, I was like, you, I just, you're like my child. It's weird. Like the second I met you, I just <laughs> knew. Okay, and like. I've helped you in a lot of ways throughout the years with everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. everything. You know? Um, and I think, you, you know. You always come to my rescue when I don't deserve it. I think the hard part is, like, this especially is really hard because, like, this. This fuck up, like, hurt me. Um. But I still like want to be the person who helps, which is so fucked up and weird. But because because I care about you, but I also like I'm gonna have to play fucking strong dad, okay? Like I have to be honest with you I and know. tell you what's fucked up and what that how game. real this shit was, you know? Oh, it's so real shit. Like I've spent after doggy dude this morning, I spent my whole car right up like looking at videos of people like there and like motherfucking sunburns. Like everything is just so fucked up. And I, I want you to be real with me. I don't want you to be. You don't even have to do this. The fact that you're even here talking to me, the fact that you still want to talk to me and you care. Thank you. I think everything happens for a reason. I think this happened. Be I don't go to conventions, right? Never. I know if that's it was like bad. <laughs> you left your house for me. <laughs> 
if it was anybody else's convention, I probably wouldn't have went. I went because I know, it was you. I know, I know that, and I knew that in my heart and soul. Like, I knew that you supported me that much. You cared about me that much to go and, like, to let you down. And people who love you down breaks my heart. <laughs> but I think it happened for a reason. I genuinely do, okay? Because I can't figure it out. We'll get into all of that later. But yeah. before we get into that, we just need to clear up a lot of things because I talked to that Michael guy and after talking to him, I don't think he's evil. And I don't, I think he just was in over his head. And I think you are in no position to ever plan even a birthday party, let alone a yeah. convention. And so I it's like- I literally should have <laughs> planned a trip to like Target. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, an I'm an idiot. I'm such a fucking idiot. And I'm not even gonna say what I've been saying on Twitter, which is like, oh, her heart was in the right place. And oh, she had good intentions. Because honestly, what I, want to say to you is I don't think you had good intentions and I don't think you know that because the true intention of it was revenge. Um, a lot of them were really Yeah. They're like, I'm a They're so close that I'm like, I could literally like go see some Joy Giuseppe escape the night shit like mm -hmm. in the morning at VidCon and like come over to our convention. They could like hop back and forth. And they definitely will. And was fuck VidCon. You're assholes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, super fun. I didn't know that. So I watched pieces of your video, the long one that you posted, and I agreed with some of it. I didn't know, like when I saw the paper that Good Times was sending out that was like, fuck VidCon. Fuck VidCon! Fuck anyone who created VidCon! I didn't Literally. do that, if that makes it better, but it doesn't. It was um, stupid and spiteful. It was so stupid. Planning my convention the same days as VidCon was so stupid yeah. and petty and I didn't I never thought it would end up like that you are going to make this worse if you start it's feeling bad days. I was getting messages from like Hank Green and all these people from VidCon and my agents and all these people who were just like the fuck VidCon thing like do you really like listen I have my own issues with VidCon I've talked to them personally about it but like that to me is like of course Worst that blew up in our faces, of course. And if you want to ask me if I think you should attend VidCon 2018 this year, no. I think it's also one of those things that you need to learn now, which is the power you have over like, literally you created a convention that had your name in it, right? And because you're funny, and because I like you, I love you. Oh my God, are you I felt it. Is it warm? <laughs> And because a lot of other creators love you, we all came. Thousands and thousands of people came. It's like, that's a lot of power. <laughs> and in all honesty, you you used power for like not good. You used it to get revenge on VidCon. I don't think you wanted anything bad to happen. I don't think you wanted any kids hurt. Like, there's a lot of people saying that. You didn't want that. I didn't want anything bad to happen. And I wasn't even in my mind sitting here being like, I want bad things to happen to VidCon, whatever. I just wanted to do something different and I wanted it to be good. But I wanted... if, if you truly did though, and this is where I'm gonna get like truth daddy on you. <laughs> sorry. Daddy con, sorry. I get it. If, if you truly did uh, want it to be better, you would have planned it better and you would have been more involved. You wouldn't I have been have on vacation in Hawaii. We're in Hawaii, mahalo beach, mahalo, aloha, mahalo. I'm not surprised because it's you, right? right? So I'm not surprised it wasn't planned well, but right. when I see how shitty it was, like on the inside, it was a joke, like it was like, there was no booths, there was no nothing to do, there was like no real food or water. Yeah, no food. Yeah. yeah. No food. We like, yeah. have nothing to eat. The planning was bad. The lineup was weird. As featured fucking creators who paid to come to an event that didn't have a separate VIP line. Um, there's a possibility we may not actually get inside. If you truly were like, oh, I actually want this to be a good experience. I want this to be a better experience for people to make You do. And I am missing a day of VidCon for this because I wanted to support her. Wanted to. Did want to. Not so sure I want to now. I think once tickets started selling and once people started being like, we love Tana, we love TanaCon, that became less important. It was more about like, oh, people are on my side and people are never on my side. And they're finally on my side. Oh my God, the internet's on my side. Like, I get it. Thank you for putting this into perspective. You know what I mean? I get it, because people always hate me. <laughs> so when somebody's on my side, I'm like, oh my God. And, and that took and having, over. Having you guys on my side was very, 
new and different and all that kind of stuff but I, I do want you to know but it doesn't fucking matter that I sat in meeting after meeting after meeting with them still deciding things like I want this panel to go at this time I want these people to do this I want this kind of booth I want there to be food and water I want there to be great security I want there I spent so much time but it wasn't good enough you can't do it in two months you can't do it when you're 20 years old and you have no experience in this industry and and you're right like if I really I wanted it to be as good as I'm out here saying I should have planned it in a year and I was dumb and impulsive for doing it in two months. Yeah. Stupid mm -hmm. as fuck. Yeah. Sure you yeah. Alright, well, before we talk to uh, Michael, I, I'm gonna give you a heads up. He's very much defensive, but then he is saying things like, she wasn't really hands-on with planning or if she was it was too late straight up that's not true i spoke to michael every single day and he would tell me if you want it to happen we will make it happen it's not 100 percent official but we are 70 percent have a little pump for your birthday what and everybody is talking about capacity and people inside i was under the impression that that space was perfectly fine for 5,000 people i went there i toured the venue he had people from anaheim marriott whatever the fuck speak to me they were telling me that that space is fine that big room and all of the ballrooms and all of the space in between and i asked him over and over and over and over again 5,000 people can be in this space, right? There's plenty of space for 5,000 people. We have plenty of security for 5,000 people, right? We have plenty, we have the best security team, we have the best space, we have the biggest space, right? And I will say that to his face if you wanna call him. But it doesn't make sense because it doesn't line up. So if somebody at the Marriott mm -hmm. told you that, and now he's suing the Marriott. He's suing Why the Marriott. is he suing the Marriott? Because he says that they lied to him about capacity. So that's what I'm trying to understand because if it's, a, if it's a slip up, I get it. Like really, if I thought that that space didn't hold a lot of people, I wouldn't have held it there. 100% honestly with you, like I wouldn't have held TanaCon in a space where I thought it wouldn't hold those people. But I also know fucking nothing yeah. about planning conventions or anything like that. Yeah. There's been so many conversations about space and capacity, and there's 100% a chance that I've been an airhead or a fucking idiot. So, like, I think we're in a good capacity. I mean, we could drop it to 3,000 if we wanted to instead of 5,200. I'm but in this. <laughs> I could. What are we gonna? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you something that could make you look really bad. Um, but it is something that, like, bothered me when I heard it. Okay. The night of all of the fucking TanaCon bullshit. Did you really go to the party? I went to my networks thing to talk to people from my network. Like I went inside, That's my. it was my networks event, Studio 71, it wasn't like a random party. I was just talking to all of the interns and stuff there because a lot of them are mad. Everyone around is like, go outside, go meet these international fans, go outside, go to Studio 71, talk to the fans outside, talk to the people inside, let them know that you're gonna fix it, whatever. People are definitely, a lot of people are mad before, you know, the right reasons, I get it. So I'm gonna fight for a fucking bigger, better type of context and I don't care if it's in 10 fucking arenas, okay? With every police force in the United States because I love you, okay? I thought it would make things better by instead of hiding, going out and talking to people and telling them how I feel because everyone else is speaking for me and saying so many things that just aren't true. In that situation, you and all of the people involved should be in a conference room but like everyone not even stopping by a party like because that's not like when you have like thousands of people going back to their motel rooms burnt like and then you have me who has nothing to do with the event doing everything i can shane i talked to shane on the phone earlier he was like what's going on and he was like i don't want to just come and meet 200 lucky people i'm going i want to make every right. single person who came happy and let them see me he's like let's figure something out like that's I think why people are pissed. It is still, it's my fault. That was dumb. Everything I've done is dumb. <laughs> so, let's talk to him. There's also like a harsh light on your face, but if you don't care. Yeah, this is fine now. Yeah, can you hear us? Hi. Hey, Sarah. Hi. 
So you guys haven't really talked. Um, we haven't. This is really the first time since like her birthday. So I don't know what to say. I don't. Either. I don't know what to say. Shane and I were just talking about the fact that things could have yeah. been done so much better, but it sucks because I really trusted you. And you know I love you. Nothing was ever done intentional and I am so devastated more than you know like I Jordan was there for some of it like I was up crying to him like I'm, I'm gonna lose my house you were just very reassuring to me that everything was going to be fine in the hands of the things that I couldn't control you know I can only do so much what am I gonna do personally background every security background check every security guard you made me feel like you had that done Michael and we did. Like, we hired the, the only security team that was there, and they were great. They assured us they were great. We had a contract with them. Like, I... But then I get word back that you're telling people that it's just people in shirts, that it's not even good security. We had like people sunburn. getting sunburned and outside and... I'm devastated, and I'm just, like, speechless at this point. So I'm going to ask something. I'm going to ask something that might get uncomfortable. You said something earlier. Uh, you mentioned you, you might lose your house and like you're going to go bankrupt and all of that. You said that Tana told her audience and told everybody that she was putting a lot of her own money in this. And you said that's not true. What do you mean? Yeah. I mean like... Define me. Explain me telling... Explain me saying I'm putting my own money into it. Because... I'm t whenever I've talked about that, I've talked about the investments that were like made. You told me we're in this together. This is our money. I'm investing it here. And I also don't understand the bankruptcy thing. I, from You've told me one thing about the way that you make your money, but every single person you manage has told me that like it's your mom's real estate money and you have plenty of it and you've scammed them. And then, like, fuck, Michael. I, the shit that your clients have told me over the past two days, I can't get out of my head. Everyone's so fucking... Cool. That is so disgusting. That is actually so sad. Every single one of your clients that went to TanaCon came up to me at my birthday party and told me they were too afraid to tell me that you would were gonna fuck me over. That they get fucked over by you constantly and that I should have listened to everyone who told me not to work with you and that like on and on and on and on. Every single one of your biggest clients told me how much money you've taken from them, how much you've hurt them. Like I name them, I'll say their names. Like if you want me to, I'll ask them to ask you. Like I yeah, I, I would love to. So why does every single one of your clients tell me that six months ago they knew that you were gonna scam me? That six months ago you stopped working on all their stuff just to make money off of me? No one wanted to. Tana, what are you talking about? Like, you know that I loved you. I trusted you. And here we are in this situation. Like, you want to point blame at me, but you're not pointing any blame at you. It's my fault. It was my convention. Like, I put my name on it because I believed in it and it fucked up and that's my fault. I'm not like, putting any blame on you. I'm telling you what people told me about you. Like, That's what? what your clients are telling No, no, I didn't say you scammed your parents. I said you have money from your parents and you've been scamming your clients I according to them. Money. If I did, I'd like to file a bankruptcy channel. Like, the only thing that went wrong was the additional people outside. The inside That's not wrong. the only thing that went wrong. You, The gift bags were fucked up. The inside is fucked up. There should have been more food and water. I'm not supposed to know how much food and water going to a convention. You promised me you knew all of that because you ran conventions. There's so much more wrong than the people outside, and that's the first problem that you think that that's the only thing wrong. It's not the only thing wrong, but let me, let me speak. I have to pay rent in two days, and I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do it. Well, that's not true. You have 10 clients that you make so much money from because they're all telling me how they're not getting any of it. That is not even remotely true, but I cared about you and I loved about you. But that doesn't change the fact that so many people waiting in the sun getting sunburns getting fucked over because I thought that everything was good because you told me it would be good. You're sitting here telling me I'm not investing my own money into it, but I wasn't profiting. Every dollar that I was going to make was going right back into Tanagon. You know I wasn't profiting. You know I wasn't making any fucking like money from this. I know, Tana. Listen. When did and you then you lied to me over and over again about so no fucking much, Michael. How did anyone lie to you, Tana? 
there's, there's no food, there was no water. We sat and looked through things. I gave you an itemized list with 10 people watching of every single thing that was supposed to be in the gift bags and you assured me they would be there. And then it comes out that it's condoms and stickers. That's, no, I didn't, sitting at my house. Hunter was there. Hunter, did I not tell him what I wanted in the fucking gift bags months prior? Like, Michael, you told me that they could be four times the ticket price. I asked you and you said yes. Documentary footage, like, I was there. We'll find out. Because, like, Jenna. And now you're like, we'll find out. Like, what? Jenna, what are those 10 things to add up to $200? A merch shirt inside. I told you I wanted to do lip gloss. You told me you would reach out to makeup companies. I wanted to do glitter to do glitter cheese. You told me you'd reach out to Lemonhead and get glitter. Like, I can sit here and tell you every single itemized thing because I did it. And then you told me you wanted to handle all of the legal aspects of it. You told Jen that, you told Bella that. Dude, Bella will sit there and tell, like straight up tell you that the second you walked in her house, Bella was like, you shouldn't fucking work with him. Like, that he's not gonna do any of that. He's gonna fuck you over. Everyone on her team was terrified. I flew out weeks early to go to the hotel to plan. You came once. You told me not to go to, that I didn't need to go. What would me walking through a hundred times do? I don't know anything about that side of the industry. You do. I trusted you. I know everything that you wanted, but it's your event. Yeah. I told you every single thing I wanted and you told me it would all happen and I didn't find out until at TanaCon that it wasn't happening. The night before you told me there was plenty of food and water. We get inside, where is the food and water? That sucks. You realize that that's my name attached to that. Security is my biggest concern. Will there be 91? Literally all of the people on the security team were telling me that there was around 40. I staffed a $100,000 security bill and you're telling me that was 91 guards Bro, those guards were Those nowhere. guards were Every fucking time I looked, garbage. I... Everything was going smooth inside the event. Like, you did a wedding. Like, everything went great inside Absolutely. the event. Absolutely. The onstage things and the, the meet and greets and everything that was going on, everything was going fine. But I also wasn't aware that all those people were sitting outside baking this in the heat. You told me people were funneling in. You told me that everything was fine security-wise. I didn't know she was going awry with TanaCon until I'm up in my room getting calls. Fire marshals are here. Tana, I need to go speak to the police chief downstairs. 20,000 people, 20,000 people, 20,000 people has been the number that you said this whole time and I'm finding out that it might not have even been that. Oh. They sold too many tickets and they can't fit all the people in there and all the free people are in there and the people that pay can't get in. Remember when I went to your room and said, Tana, Look outside, we need to make a decision. Then I came back and said- But what am I supposed to do, the creator in that moment? I've never ran a convention. What am I gonna do? Huddle all the people together? You told me you had that on lock. You I told know, me. This is your convention too. You were Studio 71's party while we we're trying to find a backup venue. Okay, can you write it up, email it to me, where to go, because we have a thousand things going. Okay. Thank you. I'm trying to, myself and my staff, drunk a 24 hours straight trying to find a backup venue while you're getting drunk with Jordan. Michael, you were fighting with fire people and Jen, and there's videos of that. You were doing a lot. You were still segueing around doing random shit that night, too. I went to Studio 71 to talk to the people from my network to ask them what the fuck to do. Because I don't know, should I have another venue tomorrow? Should I keep trusting Michael when he keeps fucking me over? I don't understand anything. And you still have not answered my last, like, ten questions to you. You just keep diverting the subject. Like, what does me going to the Studio 71 party have to do with the fact that you told me there was 90-something guards and there was 30? What does it have to do with the fact that people were outside getting sunburns and you were telling me that everyone was being let in fine? Before everyone kind of came, which is all at once, everyone was funneling in smoothly. That's why the inside was going great. But I That's see videos it. and I don't think that. I don't I think mean, that people were funneling in smoothly. I think that you were just telling me that. Okay, well, I, I have the video footage and I will show it to you. Like, but I've seen the footage from my fans who I clearly want to trust more. Look at the sunburns. I, Look at everything. Listen, I'm going to jump in for a second. I, 100%, it was never running smooth. Okay, like we have to just cut the shit with all of us. It wasn't ever running smooth. From what I saw, yes, backstage, on stage, doing all the things, everything looked smooth. But when I see videos of people fighting with security that you hired, telling my fans that no one wants to meet them and to go the fuck home and pushing them and all that kind of shit, that is where I do look to you. You told me they were the best. You told me. I don't get me wrong, Tana. I'm just as about security too. We just had a conversation internally, actually, after another phone with Shane, that we might see repercussions against the. the Security team too. We were pissed at them. That happened. But it just doesn't it's seem like everyone on your team either really is having those conversations internally because every time I spoke to someone on your team on the side, they're like, you should have seen this coming. You knew that Michael was going to do this, you know, whatever. Who like, said that? Like, no. Cindy literally said, I will get on a call and interview with Shane. 
the girl who was my right hand with me all the time said I would get on a call with Katie Tanner. Like, Michael, it's so clear that your clients and everyone around you, I don't even know how to say this. Like it's, this is what okay. I was scared of. Here's the thing. Are though. afraid of you. Here's the thing. And it sucks. I, I don't want to hear that. That's like horrible and heartbreaking. And, here's and I don't mean in the sense of you being like physical or anything like that, but of you fucking them over, of you taking money, of you doing shady money. shit. I mean, I, I would love to direct to Shane one of 20 people who told me so many things about the shady shit that you've done. They've not told me about it. I've never stolen a dollar from anyone. I've never done anything. But I'm an idiot for not listening to everyone and not researching. And how do you think that makes you feel with you saying that? Like, I trusted you too. That one is fucking bullshit. You told me the things you would do and the things I would do, and I did the things that I would do to the best of my ability, Michael, and you know like, that. And maybe that's true. Maybe you did it to best your ability. I asked you a thousand times if security was fine. I asked you a thousand times if the gift bags were fine. I asked you a thousand times if every the merch was gonna be there. I asked you everything, and you said yes. The thing was, you like you didn't. We had all of these ideas, like, let's talk ideas. I have all the footage of us throwing out ideas, the gift bag ideas. I'm not talking about ideas. I'm talking about everything you promised me. They're not we got pumped for your birthday. Everything you said would be there, but Shane is right. Like, we're both fucking young and dumb as fuck, and we should have never been in the position to do this, and now so many people are fucked over, and that's what matters. This, Don't get me wrong. What, what I'm gathering from this, uh, listen, even if it worked, Okay, even if there was no issues, no drama, no whatever, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, yeah. There's no way that 5,000 people could fit there. Right. There's no way yeah. that 5,000 people would have had a good time. You both knew this wasn't gonna work. But what is capacity? The hotel told me the cost of group, but obviously- like, In like the main ballroom. Oh. I haven't said it 5,200 right now. I love that for us. I also kind of just like set no capacity and then just like, okay, we're gonna sell it out when we sell it out. <laughs> I mean, because I feel like there's a chance. Everything about this was a failure. It was everybody's fuck up and it should never, ever, ever happen again. And this situation, we're so fucking lucky that nobody was hurt. We are so lucky. I don't think you need to like, be at the spearhead of something that big. I agree, 100%. That, big. that was my biggest mistake. You that know, should have I'm, been sister con straight up, like straight up. <laughs> I am an idiot. I am a fucking idiot. You know, <laughs> and I take full responsibility for that. I mean, is there anything else you want to say? I and by the way, I told you that you could trust me. Okay, so when we were talking earlier in text, I told you you could trust me. This is not about ruining your life or your business or any of that shit. Like that, this is not what I do. I'm sorry, Michael. So many. And I'm sorry to you. People I, were in my ear. I said during when all of this happened. I said, I let Tana down, and I cried my fucking ass off. Then I let all the fans down, and let, well, I'm gonna lose my house and my career, like. Come on. We can't, we can't sit and sulk now. We gotta go. It's go time. Simple as that. I'm gonna be ruined forever. No, Michael, we gotta make power moves right now. All we can do is apologize and, and try to make it right. If that is the one thing that we can agree on, I agree that it needs to be made right. With every person, straight up. Yeah. Can you promise me something? I know I don't know you that well, but can you like you said something earlier off camera that scared me a little bit Are you gonna be okay? You're not gonna do anything stupid, right? Michael the last thing anybody wants is for you to do anything stupid It's not I worth it. Okay. You. This is so this is literally TanaCon. Okay. This is like Seriously. I, I, I know This is really hard and I, I think that it's gonna get better. Every, I try to think about it. I have people around me that I support and love me and it's really really hard. Please don't let this ruin your life. <laughs> this is TanaCon. Like, I just want to remind you, we're going to figure out how to fix it and make things Keep better. You're literally but, like... my dad. <laughs> you're literally the best dad I could ever And I wish I could hug you right now, man. Honestly, I wish you were here because, like, I just want you to know everything's okay. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, Michael. I'm sorry. <laughs>We were hearing all this shit about fire marshals and police and all that fucking everything that was going on. Everyone and their mother was blowing up Michael's phone and he was nowhere to be found.
off for days. He stressed that he had it under control the entire time. In reality, he never did have it under control. And, and, me, that and, and that's now, like, now we're really realizing because getting me and Jordan, like Tana's manager, both had this gut feeling about him. We both knew, but Tana was so confident in Tanacon, he was gonna tell her anything she wanted to hear to make it happen. Yeah, he Unfortunately, made me feel like, like trying for this was like, you'd be fucking stupid not to. They're gonna be like what the golf cart drives by, they're gonna be like, oh my god! Michael walking into my house like, covered head to toe in Gucci and Chanel and all that kind of shit, telling me I'm rich as fuck and I did it by making conventions. My life is amazing because I made conventions. I can do this for you in a heartbeat, you know? I knew better. He said to me five times that he's gonna lose his house, he's gonna lose everything. Is that real? Cause that's like fucking crazy. That's like a lot. That's like, is that real? I don't, I don't know how to like say this to you because it's like, I don't want to paint anyone as the bad guy but me. I fucked up, but a lot of people, including me, know how Michael really is and his house is owned by his parents or he rents it or he's fine, like he's fine completely that but i i think that when everyone's attacking you like that you know it's he might want a pity i don't i don't know how to say the shame like okay, sure no, yeah. listen this whole thing has to be real or else people aren't gonna they're not gonna buy any of it so like i don't think he's a good person if that's like too hardcore to say i think he lied and lied and lied and lied and lied to me i think he puts on a facade of all these investors and this big company and whatever but it's a young kid with mommy's money and some interns and clients that are afraid of him. So they operate in the ways that he wants to to make him maintain this this image. And I fell for the facade and the image followed by the lies and promises about what my convention could be. He's not losing any house. He's not going bankrupt on this. He's not doing any of that. Do you, because he said that he has footage of everything. So they have yeah. the footage of everything. So they only have half the story, and then I have the other like pieces. We filmed it all, all that kind of stuff. I also just want you to know, like straight up, they have been so adamant from day one, like we're gonna make a fucking documentary about this. Yeah. We're gonna sell it full screens and Netflix and whatever, you know, where people subscribe. And I've said from day one, I don't love that idea and I don't wanna do it. I wanna make a video for my YouTube channel. And I had Hunter following me around the night before TanaCon. They come to him, all the footage is ours, all of your footage is ours. You can't touch your own footage. Like it's all ours. We wanna make a documentary. We're gonna make a movie out of this. I wanna see some of this. Um, what was I gonna say? This is 40 feet long of staging. Okay. Three feet high, which will come up to right here. Wait, this will be the, the stage. whole thing is stage. Wow, that's gonna be a fat ass it's stage. Big, yeah. <laughs> I want to see what that looks like as well. 40 feet, 16 feet deep, three feet tall. That's fucking nuts. Also, big stage. I don't, is the lighting cool? Like when you're I'm sitting here asking him every question about him, <laughs> and he's trying to say that never happened. You okay, can't? Cause where do I? This is a perfect example of him trying to look bougie and professional. Whoa, it's like big. It's very big. It's tall. It's shit. It's very big. I'm sitting here thinking it's a lot of space. It's supposed to be like the FF lounge, whatever they I have nothing for Do they want a talent lounge or do they want. Beats me. We should figure that out. Yeah, yeah. I've asked Jin Whoa. Whoa. That was like a conspiracy moment. What the fuck? This, okay, listen, I'm not trying to drag this kid, and he's not here to defend himself during this moment, but like, that was crazy. You look like you were in charge of that shit. You were yeah, like, I asked him on every, but that's should look into that. what I want you to know. For everything, I did that over and over and over and over and over because I didn't fucking want this to happen, Shane. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go fucking crazy. <laughs> Straight up. Holy shit. We have that entire swap in the parking lot. Okay. See, this is him telling me his like, parking lot is going to be safe and secure. It's for registration. We have the whole parking lot. Like, yeah, okay. to do like, we're going to put the registration booths out there so it keeps traffic out. Because this is, frankly, 5,000 people a lot of people. Yeah. Um, yeah. And like, you see the space. So we got to make that work. See? Um, we're going to have See? See? I literally don't want to walk on this concrete. I'm going to show you where to check it is. 5,000 people is a lot of people. We got to make that work. This is outside is where the lines are going to be. Outside is for registration. I haven't even watched this footage yet. I yeah, neither have I. Straight up, neither have I. Oh, the G Wagon limo is the shuttle? Yeah. The G Wagon limo is This is me itemizing every single detail. And then he just said I didn't meet, also. 
that I never met, I never did these details, I never did that. You're seeing that I cared about every detail, yes? Like, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever been part of. <laughs> I, I want to go to more of me asking him questions about capacity, security. Security's tight. But Security's yeah, we'll tight. All the way up to the green room. So this is where I was actually going to have a career party. With the cool space. And that got me into it. That was a lot. Still not so this is also us sitting here like 800 to hours finalizing things. You know, you've been trying to how many conferences everyone piles towards the front of the room. Like that main stage room is going to be packed regardless. Like, like a mosh pit. But a safe one. Yeah. <laughs> but a safe one! Oh, literally, I, I want to. Please! Oh, good times. Like a mosh pit. Tana, but a safe one. I am so happy you were seeing this footage. God, I want to throw up. God, I want to cry. God, I want to shit myself. I, like, literally what? Check your phone. Yeah. Cause this is just me talking to like, a friend. I can play it, but exactly, and that's cool too that I'm getting to do this so hands on. Like I learned today, servers can craft. I learned. So like it's all I'm learning with experience, but I like that because then that means I'm fucking hands on and I actually care and I'm actually giving yeah, you what I want. Yeah, like that I want to hug. So I want to make sure we hit every point. Another thing that everybody's talking about, the idea that there was actually no free tickets. Which is so fucking insane to me. Because I have been told all the way up until right now of you walking in here, that there is at least 4,000 free tickets. If there are less than that, and more VIP tickets are being sold, where is that money? 4,000 free tickets? Yeah, like 4,000 free, 1,000 VIP. VIP was always supposed to be the small extra. They could skip the lines or whatever. Obviously, 5,000 VIPs would never work. But that's what you sold. You sold 5,000 VIPs. Mm. If that is true, I didn't know that. Straight up. I and I don't have any of that money. I mean, we can look he at He was it. saying, you know, like, we've sold 4,200, but 3,000 are free. Do you get what I'm saying? He said, we sold 5,000 tickets. We made $325,000. Well, that's what And that money is going back into rent and this in the convention or whatever. Well, because didn't the other girl, too, say, like, she didn't see anybody in the, in line that had a free ticket? Nope. Everybody was VIP. So is, is the free thing just... Bullshit. Scam. We found a scammer who's putting this whole thing on. Yes. I'm so pissed at how well I'm scamming. I'm drunk. Can you just get this out of my? It was never for profit. I wouldn't have had free tickets and sixty-five dollar tickets if it was for profit. I've gone on a million tours and made money. Like you know what I mean? I wasn't doing this for money. I would have done it so fucking differently. It was for a statement, but I still wasn't doing it to scam anyone or make any money like that. I don't know. Tana Mojo's event, a scam. <laughs> um, thank you for doing this. Uh, oh, this has been you. the craziest experience I've ever seen. But more importantly, we're gonna figure out how to fix this, and we're gonna exactly that's yeah, all that make it all work. Get the refunds. We can do it. Yeah. And the fact that we can even say we that you care to help me means so much for me. What a journey. Thank you, I Ricky. love my dad. Thank you, Ricky. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. <laughs> so I still had a lot of questions about pretty much everything. So I called Michael and uh, we talked for a while. And then I called Tana and I got all the answers. So. The official number of VIP tickets sold was 5,108. The number of free tickets was between two and 300. Michael claims that Tana knew that and that she was lying when she said she didn't. And Tana still says she didn't. The number of security guards was never 91. I got a hold of the contract and it said that at most there was 25 security guards at a time. Now to put that in perspective, for most conventions, it's usually 50 guards per 5,000 people. So this was cut in half. The amount of money spent on security was $60,000. Put that in perspective, the amount of money that VidCon spends on security is one million dollars. This is the big one, capacity. So I got a hold of the contract between the Marriott and Good Times. And the contract stated that there was only going to be 1,000 people. And Michael signed it. Now I talked to both Tana and Michael about this and they both said that yes, the contract might have said a thousand, but everybody at Marriott told them that that was just a safe number and that 5,000 was okay. 
And here's the final thing, the money. So the amount of ticket sales is roughly $325,000. Now all of that money is currently being held by the ticket company, Veeps. Now Veeps is new and they've never done a convention before. So TanaCon was gonna be their first. And because Michael really wanted to seal the deal, he signed a contract with them saying that if anything went wrong or tickets needed to be refunded, the funds would have to come from good times. And Michael signed that contract. And then Michael explained to me that he is good times. Just him. How many, sorry, how many people work at Good Times? Though? He wants to make Good Times seem a lot more than it is. In reality, like I just said to you, it is him, his parents, money, and a bunch of interns who are afraid of him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe like 10. Well, if he's but Michael's very quick to be like, the investor said. Which means that he is personally responsible for finding $325,000 to give refunds. And that's like, what's sad too is good times is just Michael, his parents, money, and a bunch of interns that are afraid of him. Maybe, straight up. Is there a way? So I want to give a final thought on all of this. I don't think Michael's evil. I don't think Tan is evil. I think they both fucked up. And I hope they take it as a learning lesson. Well, hope you enjoyed TanCon. I don't know how to end it. <laughs>